gaming mice. There's a ton of them out on the market, all offering a myriad of special features and pretty lights. And you'll probably end up having to wreck this week's paycheck just to grab one, but is that always necessary? Can you spend as little as 40 bucks to get the kind of performance that you want? Well, we're gonna find that out today by taking a look at the Utech Smart Venus Gaming Mouse here on Tech of Tomorrow. Now, the first thing that I think a lot of you are gonna notice about this mouse, I know it's the first thing that jumped out at me, is just the huge 12 button macro setup on the left side of the mouse. In my opinion, not the best thing you can do for looks, and it also makes just regular restful use of the mouse kind of awkward. But of course, that's not the reason for this design. It's so you have a nice compact way to access a large number of macros all from just your thumb, which we'll talk about a little later. That aside though, the rest of the mouse is pretty good looking. The shape all around is really appealing to the eye outside of that valley of buttons. And the Utech logo not only looks really good, but has a nice light up effect going on that's shared with the macro buttons and the scroll wheel. While those macro buttons do feel a little weird for your thumb to rest on, the rest of the mouse is contoured pretty nice for a right-handed user. The left and right mouse clicks are just a little concave for your index and ring fingers, and the right side of the mouse has a little groove for your little finger. So the left side of the mouse aside, overall this is actually a pretty good looking and comfortable mouse. Now, as always though, aesthetics alone are not the only thing that matters here. Our chief concern, of course, is how this thing performs, which thankfully, the Venus has some really solid customization options and performs really well under strenuous activity. First off, the customization, which on the Venus isn't too over the top with just one exception. The basic options cover all the main standards, pointer speed, scroll speed, acceleration, double click, and pulling rate, with light options including color, brightness, and pulsing rate. But the DPI options are where this thing really starts to get a little crazy. Crazy. The Venus is capable of hitting a DPI setting as high as 16,400, which is absolutely ludicrous. With your pointer settings set to their lowest, you'll get really precise controls, or if you have your pointer speed high, it'll achieve absolutely ridiculous mouse speeds. Which, in all honesty, I'm just not entirely sure is that necessary. You're going to still feel just as much precision with lower mice that max out at around 8,200 or maybe even 5,600. Having the option to go this high doesn't necessarily ruin anything, it just seems a little bit unnecessary. As for how this can be customized, the Venus offers the ability to have five different DPI profiles that you can quickly switch between. But what's really nice about this too is that right on the mouse is a little light meter displaying what level you're currently using. So that way you have an easy method of keeping track of what current settings you're using just by glancing over. Now as for additional buttons for macro options, the mouse features on the top your traditional right and left mouse clicks, a scroll wheel that just has one click option of simply pressing it, up and down arrows meant for DPI adjusting, and an additional small button located just left of the left mouse click that, while programmable, is initially set for being used as a fire button to instantly triple click. Now, of course, the real big time macro options on this mouse, though, are located on that left side with that valley of 12 different buttons, which are initially set to being used as a number pad. Now, when I first got my hands on this mouse, my biggest concern was just how easy it is to actually press the button you mean to, because when they're all compact together like this, it seems like it'd be really easy to accidentally hit the wrong macro, which, at first, is definitely definitely true. But as you begin to practice with it, it's actually pretty easy to find the button you intend to use. Thanks to the way the buttons have this little up and down ridge design going on, you develop this little touch memory of knowing things, like the 5 button is located in the middle, near the front, slanting inwards. So provided you take a little time to actually practice with it, it's not that hard to use, but there are still some issues with it. First off, while it is pretty easy to find a specific button, quickly switching between them can definitely have some problems since you have to feel out each individual button. On top of that, they are really close together and not all that large, so if your hands are a little bigger or if you have at least just a bigger thumb, it's pretty easy to actually accidentally hit multiple buttons at the same time rather than just the one you intend to. So is the Venus the best mouse out there on the market? Market. Well, not exactly, but for 40 bucks, it handles like a dream. It's great looking, it's comfortable for the most part during regular use, it has really crisp mouse clicks that feel good for quick repetitive clicking, and as long as you don't have bigger hands, the macro valley can be really useful provided you take the time to practice with it. If you need a gaming mouse for MMOs or any other game genre that's going to benefit from having a lot of macros and you don't want to break your wallet doing that, then this is a great solution. Well, that was my review of the Utech Smart Venus Gaming Mouse. If you guys are interested in grabbing one, we do have a link posted down below in the description, as well as a couple links to my own personal projects. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to let us know with that thumbs up button and subscribing if you haven't yet. I'll be seeing you guys soon with some more content, but until then, I'm Kevin Kenson, and I'll see you guys later.